This broadcast is brought to you in part by Julie Zook at Silver Legacy Realty. For this North Idaho update, I'm John Webb. Tuesday, a multitude of students and young adults peacefully protested on the deck of US-95 near Sandpoint. And just like other protests across North Idaho, a group of Second Amendment proponents were near, arming semi-automatics and pistols. A member of the group told the Bonner County Daily Bee that they were there to protect the demonstrators and ensure that people with malignant plans did not infiltrate the group. After the peaceful protest, the Second Amendment group patrolled Sandpoint to make sure there weren't any other threats to the city. A Wallace man is now in the Kootenai County Jail on drug charges and aggravated assault. Jeffrey Jennings was living in Motel 6 in Coeur d'Alene when he threatened a neighbor with a rusty machete if they didn't give him $150 for methamphetamine. When police arrived, they discovered drugs in his car and drug paraphernalia. Jennings is being held on a $30,000 bail and is set to be in court in the next two weeks. If you plan to boat the Ponderay River anytime soon, take note that there is now a no-wake speed limit. The boating safety ordinance was set to prevent property damage along the shore. If you do violate the new ordinance, expect a $66 fee. In an update to a story we brought you last week, the Coeur d'Alene City Council unanimously rejected a move to close Sherman Avenue through Labor Day weekend. With much opposition from police and firemen, some did think it was a good idea for business, but in the long run, safety is number one. In order to keep the topic in future discussion, the council did table the proposal. Dr. Bob Rantnels has stepped down as superintendent of the Wallace School District. For the past 13 years, he served that role along with many others. Rantnels pulled the school district through the 2008 recession and passed several levies benefiting the school. Todd Howard will assume the superintendent position and Brooke Miller will take over Howard's role as elementary principal. Bonner County workers will see a lowered commercial solid waste fee. According to Bob Howard, the director of solid waste, it's all a part of their plan to help separate clean wood waste from wood which can't be burned. Rather than paying $18, commercial customers will now pay $10. Patrons of the Bayview Water District approved a $3.4 million bond to fix the district's water system by about 80 percent. This was the third time officials attempted to pass the bond. 160 voters were in favor of the measure, while 42 were against. The Boundary County Sheriff's Office taught an off-highway vehicle safety course to local youth who are interested in riding ATVs and motorcycles. The course allowed students to obtain a permit for underage driving. The Sheriff's Office would like to host another course. If you're interested, contact them by the phone. For this North Idaho Update, I'm John Webb.